we are going to make a color swatch from this photo. You can do this from any photo. It's a great way to get some colors maybe to color your background papers and mats and frames and other things for your photo. It could be any photo. It could be a photo of your child, an outdoor photo as this one. Um, it's also another great way to uh, make a palette if you're a designer. A photo such as this, you know, um, God uh, creates complementary colors in nature and so taking colors in nature is one way to get a great palette for um, for de designing and digital scrapbooking. First you want to get your color swatches to show up over here and um, to do that click Windows and then Swa color swatches and it'll come up in a little pop-up box here. I'm not going to do that because I've already got mine over here and then in that pop-up box click on this fly out area arrow and up here it, at the top tick where it says place in palette bin when closed and then click on the X and close that palette bin and it'll dock over here in the palettes then you can uh, minimize it and maximize it when you want to use it now let's go get these colors out of this photo go to the image drop down menu mode and you'll see it should be set to RGB color mode well we're going to index the colors so click on that and the first one should be probably local selective or local perceptual um, so uh, choose one of those it probably defaults to 256 we want um, to change this default for black and white to none and untick that transparency we don't need a little transparent box in our in our um, color palette down here both of these should be selected to none and then when you're done click OK now it appears like nothing has happened um, something has happened to get that color palette go back up to the image drop down menu mode and now at the bottom you're going to see color table click on that and you're going to see a very large color palette from that photo now you can save this to your desktop and I'm just going to type a name and it, you can uh, see oh it's kind of off at the bottom it's in .act file and <clears throat> that is the extension um, for a color table and I'm just going to type hummy um, fall one and click save now to get that over here in your color palette I'm going to click the flyout menu then um, load and let's go back to my desktop and I want to change the I'm not sure you can see this I don't know if I can raise this up anymore .aco is the file extension for swatches but we're not seeing any of those here on my desktop I know we saved a color table file so I'm going to click on this drop down menu for files of type change it to color table and I see it appear and I can select it and load and there all those beautiful colors appear down here at the bottom of my color swatch and now I can click on them make them my foreground color or background color um, that's another tutorial um, I want to show you something else here uh, maybe you don't want that many colors you want a smaller color table uh, to do that let's go back up here to mode and switch it back to RGB again then we're going to go back and select indexed again and this time I'm going to change this let's say to 20 colors now you notice the photo changed 
and it is now um, not as pretty as it was before because it has actually changed to only 20 colors in this photo. <coughs> the rest of the things are the same as always and click OK. Let's go back to that um, color table and now you can see I have only 20 colors and uh, that is much easier to work with uh, when um, you are <laughs> pop up down there that is much easier to deal with when you are um, working with a color palette uh, for your photos to have less to choose from and then you know they all coordinate and so we're going to do a save and uh, save this one um, as Hummy Fall 1 let's do uh, B and uh, then if we want to um, I'm just going to get rid of all those that we had under here before so I'm just going to switch and it wants me to save the changes and I'm going to say no and then I'm going to switch back to my default colors now you can see it's wiped away all of those that I had added before and we're going to go back and load the 1B set and so there they are at the bottom much less intimidating to uh, utilize and so I uh, hope you've uh, learned a lot from this and we're going to create a color challenge um, for you to use this color swatch of mine here um, in your photos.